So first things first, as you saw, uh, I just sat down and it's really nice to have something to sit on that will um, isolate from the ground cold a little bit and also protect you from damp and wet surfaces like this log right here. Uh, so this is probably the first item that I highly recommend that you get. You can always sit on your knees and yeah, if you're out a, a group and you're the responsible uh, person for everything, you might want to bring a foldable uh, sleeping mat like Thermarest. I know they have great ones, so then many people can sit on it, but if you're just you, this is a really nice thing to bring. Uh, these come in all sizes and shapes, so I'm, I'm sure you can find whatever suits you out there. I like this one. It's uh, insulated and you can fold it up and there's this little snap there so it doesn't unfold in the packs and it's, you know, you just can just cram this in anywhere. So yeah, sitting pad would probably be the number one thing uh, for this time of year at least. So if you're going on a day hike, uh, you obviously might want to bring a backpack so you can bring all your, all your uh, belongings and uh, you know adapt to the circumstances around you. I brought the uh, Keb Hike 30. Uh, there's a full review on this one. Uh, just uh, have a look on the channel and you'll find it there. So what's inside this one then? Well, uh, first off, the weather now is uh, changing. It gets colder like I mentioned before. So the first thing that I have in the top is the um, just a, a sweater. Uh, if it gets colder, or like now when I'm sitting down and, and I'm not moving around anymore, I can just uh, easily layer up and yeah, I want that pretty close uh, so I don't want to start to freeze. So with the layer on, I'm feeling warm and toasty. Obviously, you're walking or you're, you might be moving around, so the second thing is actually also a layer, but this layer is more for wind and rain. Uh, you could obviously combine or mix and match whatever you, uh, you find yourself in, so you don't need to wear this to wear this obviously. Uh, when you're walking and it's raining, it could be nice just to wear a shell layer to protect you from the rain and then just your t-shirt or whatever underneath so you don't start to sweat like a maniac. That's that's not good, never. So uh, yeah, always have this close at hand. Now it's uh, it's wet outside, but it's a fairly, fairly nice day and yeah, it's not like the rain is imminent. So I have it somewhere in the middle of the pack. When I see that the weather would change, I, was, I would obviously adapt. There's a rain cover for the backpacks. You can wanna, might want to put that on as well. Uh, but other than that, just you know, keep an eye on your surroundings and you will see when the shit hits the fan. Let's move on to the next thing. All right, so after the sort of bigger layers, it's nice to have just the smaller companion layers. This would be the pair of gloves and a neck gaiter just to keep you warm if it starts to be windy or these are obviously also good if you're working with your hands and doing stuff like that. Uh, but it's also nice just to have that little extra adjustment layer, if you will, uh, to help you stay warm in your uh, hands and around your neck. It makes a huge difference and I think these might, might be a little bit underrated, so don't forget these ones. All right, so last but definitely not least, rain trousers. When it's like this time of year, it's obviously gonna be wet, rainy outside. Don't let that stop you. Just bring the necessary items for you to have a good day in nature anyways. Rain trousers is one of those things. These are not my, my favorite things to bring with me, but I do. Uh, just, you know, if shit should hit the fan, these could be really nice to have with you. And you can just keep dry and stay warm at, at that too. And uh, yeah, again, it should not stop you from, from being outside. So rain trousers, really important. So with all these items, you're able to walk and move around and not get wet and stay warm and all those things. But you might want to take a break and you want to stop a little bit. Uh, so that's what we're going to take a closer look at what we bring with us there. And the first thing I would say, uh, except the sitting pad, that's the definite first thing. I have a tarp with me. Uh, I think this is good, again, depending on the situation you're in, but it's so fast to uh, get up and it will protect you from rain. And it's also nice and necessary for that matter to take the break if you're out and you're moving about. So it might be raining and it might be windy outside and that makes you maybe not want to stop, but uh, having a tarp with you, you will get shelter from that and you will get the world needed break. Uh, so I think this is a really important item that uh, a lot of people tend to forget as well. Um, and again, if you're a group, this is so nice that everybody can just get in under here and you can still just enjoy the incredible scenery and stay dry and, and uh, out of the wind. So tarp, highly recommend. I'm just gonna throw in a bonus here as well. This is a lightweight uh, hammock. This is super nice to bring with you. It really gives you that super duper five-star level of comfort. And if you wanna just take a rest outside, you can do that. And uh, it's just a, such a nice addi addition when you're out just to get off the ground if you need to do that. And you might not have a place to sit, but you're around trees, you can easily just uh, set this one up and you can have your little base camp or you can just set up 
shop wherever you like and feel to as long as there's uh, connections to do so. So I, I think that's a good extra little thing to, it's not necessary, but it's, it's just a nice extra to bring with you at times. Okay, so now we have the right amount of layers. We have a, a place to stay, we have shelter. So we're, we're good to go for pretty much uh, anything there. Next up is of course food and water and what to bring for that. I was bring a little uh, cup like this. In Sweden uh, we would call this uh, snylt keosa because maybe you don't have coffee with you but if you have the cup and you meet people outside on the trail uh, they might World's have first. coffee or something similar. That's, that's uh, really good, so thank you. It's always good to have one of these and these, they don't take up any room at all. So uh, either for yourself or just if you want to snylta then uh, this is the perfect thing to bring with you. And of course uh, I also bring a little spoon. I want to have my uh, lunch or just a meal break outside. It's perfect for that. And then nasty chocolate. This is the same. I've still not eaten it for those of you who know. Uh, I will, we'll, we'll see what happens with that one. And then I bring just a, a lunch or dinner or breakfast or whatever you have. Uh, you can do this in so many different ways. I just bring one of these because I'm doing filming and all this stuff, but um, it's really, really nice to just cook outside and everything tastes so much better. So if it's a nice day and you have the time, uh, you might want to bring other things. I highly recommend you do that. So as a companion to those things, I bring the uh, thermos with me. The benefit of this one is that you don't need to spend time preparing everything. You can just easily get uh, warm food and liquid in you. You can just pour it in and everything is just good to go with this one. So if you're out for a day hike, I think this is a really nice uh, companion. And this one is uh, 0.75 liters, so this is good for uh, lunch and you might want to drink some something warm as well, like coffee or tea or whatever. Uh, so it's good for that as well. And this one obviously has the extra cup here. So really nice addition to your pack. Besides that, it's all two necessary bottle of water. This, I, I don't know how big this one is. Uh, I think it's just maybe half a liter or something. But that's also really nice or good just for the for the day. Uh, this is the Primus Klunken. It's a really nice, uh, nice little addition there. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it in terms of food and water that we want to bring with us. And to the end of that, the uh, trash bag. This is the probably the most underrated thing. Uh, we We tend to just bring everything with us and then we don't uh, think about what we're going to do with everything afterwards. Bring a trash bag either for yourself, the the group, or if you just find trash outside, be the good person and just uh, pick it up. It's better for everyone. Uh, so yeah, bring something to take your uh, trash with you back home. And last but not least, a means of uh, making fire. Uh, so in here I just have all my, my little sort of fire kit. There's also a small knife in here. Um, fire steel, uh, cotton, all those things, just to be able to make a fire if you need to get warm. You know, things might not go as planned or they go better than you planned and you get a feel for it and you might want to stay out longer. Uh, you want to make a fire, it's a really nice thing to do. And so yeah, it's always nice to bring just the extra kit. And again, this doesn't take up any room and barely any weight, so it's totally worth it to, to have with you, even if you're just going for a day hike, because you never know. Uh, it's usually, for me at least, it's um, it's always nice to get outside and it also tends to be way better than expected and yeah, I always get the feeling and, and you want to stay longer and just, you know, prepare and make fire and just enjoy it. So there you have it folks, this is everything I would bring for a, a day hike. Now you might think that I'm alone in this, but don't worry, I am not. There's a tons of experts in the comment section and they will tell you everything I missed and things that they would uh, do better or different than me. So be sure to check the comments and leave some yourself so we all can get the uh, best out of this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.